Alright, welcome to this tutorial on using custom content with Sour Breton for Windows. So the first thing I want to mention is that there are actually two folders for your Sour content. The first folder includes all the stuff that came with the download of the game. So all the default maps, all the textures, all the models, everything like that. And the second folder is all your custom content. So that would be like your saved maps, your screenshots, your auto exec, your demos, everything like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and find these file or these folders. The first one, uh, if you did not change the file path when you installed Sour, it is going to be in Downloads and then Sour Breton. You should have a Sour folder here. Um, if you did change the file path when you installed Sour, you should know what you changed it to and where that folder is. So go ahead and find it and then open it up and it will be the same folder as this. So let's open it up. We got some folders here and we got some files. Uh, you can look through all these if you want. The one we're going to be focusing on is the packages folder. All right, and this is going to contain all the content. Um, so it's got your base folder, which uh, base is Sour's folder for maps. All right, these are all the maps in the game. Uh, you got uh, caustics. This is uh, for the water. In the game, you got some uh, folders that are named after players or mappers of the game uh, that have some content included in the latest release of Sour, so they have their own folders for their stuff. And then you got some other folders, more specific like models. All right, and you can look through all these if you want, um, but this is just to get you a quick idea of what we're dealing with here. All right, and the second folder um, is going to be and documents, my games, and Sour Breton. All right, so you can see we have two different folders, two different Sour Breton folders in two different places. Um, but we're gonna wanna know where both of those are. All right, so if you have just freshly installed Sour Breton, you're not gonna have a whole lot in this folder. All right, I have some demos in here for the next moments of glory that I'm gonna be working on. Uh, so that's what all these .dmo files are, they're demos. Um, but if you have a fresh install, you won't have too much in here. You won't even have a auto exec. Um, you won't have a packages folder in here, uh, which will be created the first time you save a map in game. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the game and save a map and take some screenshots and stuff so we can see how these are ad automatically saved into this folder. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new map. Um, and then let's just go ahead and build anything so it's not just uh, a plain map. It doesn't matter what it is. Actually, you could just leave a blank map and name it to whatever you want. Uh, so let's do slash save map and then let's name it so we know what we're looking for. Let's just do random. Uh, and then while we're at it, let's take a few screenshots. And you know that the hotkey for it to take a screenshot sour is F12. And you can also use the command. Uh, slash screenshot if you want to manually name the screenshot something specific All right, so let's just do random again and let's go ahead and also open up our auto exec uh, menu uh, now because we're using a fresh install of sour here we have not created an auto exec uh, in game so there will be no file for it in your folder um, so you actually have to go into game and then create something in here or you can create a new uh, blank uh, text file and rename it to autoexec.cfg if you want to do it that way. The easiest way is to do it through game. So just go into this menu, you can see how I got here. And you don't even have to type a command, you can just type something random and go ahead and hit save. And because it has something in here now, it's going to save a full file in your folders. Alright, so let's go back into our second Sour folder, and that would be in Documents, My Games, Sour Run, if you remember. And now we see we have a brand new Packages folder here. Alright, so we can open that up. It's got a base folder for the maps, and here's our map file. Uh, .ogz, that is a map file for Sour Breton, so there's our map right there. We also have a new file, autoexec.cfg, which wasn't there before, and we can open that up. And we can see that there's the same text that we added through game in here. Uh, then we can go ahead and edit in here and add some more commands and stuff. You can go ahead and save. 
and then Sour will read this exact file when it op when you open up the game next. All right, and then let's scroll down a little bit, and we see our screenshots here. We have the one we used with F F12, which just gives a default screenshot name, and we have the one we named random over here. Okay, so that's where uh, your screenshots, your base, uh, your maps, and your auto exec go. And you also have demos, which we'll download uh, in a little bit. So let's move on to downloading some custom content. Alright, so here we have a custom map. Uh, this is one that I created, which we're going to be using just because I know that it uses uh, custom textures. So we're going to be killing two birds with one stone uh, by showing you where to put the map and where to put the textures. Let's scroll down a little bit and download the file. And then we'll open it up. And now that we have the zip file, uh, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up all the folders all the way to as far as we can go. Uh, now we see a text file here, or uh, sometimes it's called README. Um, this is a README. Some files uh, for Sour or just in general will include a README. You can read that if you want. Let's just keep going through the folders. Now we get to uh, a fork, if you will, a fork in the road. Uh, we have the base folder and the, she and the, the chic folder. Uh, so we actually need to copy both of these folders, usually with uh, custom content for Sour. Whoever created the zip file will not include anything that you don't need, you know, anything that's already included in Sour. So you do need usually everything that's included in the zip. In this case, you need the map, which is inside this base folder, and then you need some textures, which is inside the chic folder. Let's open up the base. Uh, folder and then we see we got our map file right here this dot ogz that is the actual map uh, with maps you can have anywhere from one to four different files for the map itself uh, that would be the ogz or the file itself there would be the dot jpg which is a screenshot for the loading screen and then you'll have a dot cfg sometimes which is uh, the config for the map which loads different commands like the textures and everything uh, and then sometimes you might also, which is in here, uh, have a .wt file, or .wpt file, which is uh, waypoints for the bots in Sour. Alright, so we can do one of two things here now. Let's open up, um, let's open up our first Sour file, um, our folder rather. Uh, now I do suggest taking custom maps and putting them in your second Sour folder. Because if you remember from just a few seconds or a few minutes ago, um, when we saved uh, our custom our own custom map, it is saved into the second sour folder. So I usually like to keep all custom maps together, the ones I saved and the ones I downloaded. Uh, so you, I recommend putting them in here. You could just put them in your first sour folder, which is what we're going to do for this example. So let's go ahead and find that one, sour run. Uh, and then we can do one of two things like I mentioned the first thing you can do is follow this file path up here at the top of your finder here uh, once you opened all the way into as far as you can go to the actual files so we're gonna follow that packages and then base this one is pretty simple obviously there's only two folders so we can go ahead and take these f these uh, three files and drag them right in with uh, the the rest of these maps in here all right, and then we would do the same thing with this uh, chic folder. Uh, but if you notice, if we go back, back to packages, and then we try and scroll down and look for chic, there is no such folder because this is a new custom folder. Uh, so we would want to just c copy the entire folder or drag it over into our packages. All right, so that the file path will then match. Uh, the zip file so it would be packages chic textures and then these files because we took this folder and put it in here all right so hope hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say there I know that sometimes gets a little confusing um, but you could also take the second route which is the easiest one um, unless we are dealing with replacing some files which we will be covering in a few minutes all right so let's back out to where we have our packages folder and in both folders, our zip file and our sour folder. And then we can just take this packages and we can drag it right into here uh, into our sour root file, our folder. 
and just hit yes to merge the two folders and that is going to take all the files in our zip and put them exactly where they need to be all right and then we can go ahead and open up the uh, sour brand and see if we did that correctly so let's go ahead and do that now all right slash map space mc lab uh, you could use that command or you can use the command slash show custom maps all one word uh, if i can spell that right um, custom and that'll show you all your custom maps all right you could have pages here if you saved or downloaded a lot of maps but here you can see our mc lab so we can just click that if you want and we can load and since we have uh, that zip file came with the .jpg file we have a nice screenshot for the load screen here and here we go we have our map uh, now the only problem obviously is that we are missing the textures all right we have a few textures here like the one for this plasma wall um, because um, this texture was included with the actual map folder all right um, but we need to get all the other textures here so here we are back where we downloaded the map from and then we're gonna take a look in the description to see where these textures are that we're missing all right and here we have a little note here saying that this uses the Philip K textures so let's go ahead and download those all right follow the link uh, there's two links here so let's download both of these files and then I'll see you in a bit all right so let's open these up and follow the exact same uh, path that we did with the map file all right so we already have our sour folder opened up here uh, now these textures are going to go in our first sour folder with all the default content uh, so let's just go ahead and because the this is brand new content these textures are brand new they're not replacing anything we're just going to take them and drag and merge the folders alright so we don't have to worry about replacing anything or renaming anything um, let's open that up to our packages folder drag that over and go ahead and merge alright so that's all that takes to install the textures let's open up our game and see if we did that right and there we go our map has textures now alright so that means we did everything right so good job alright so now there's just one more example um, which we're gonna do real quick uh, let's go ahead and download some custom skins for our models and some flags um, so we're here at sourworld.org which has some pretty good uh, mods so let's go to our tips and mods modding section let's download a couple of these things actually we're only going to do the uh, snout uh, skins for now because it's both the same thing we're just going to save some time just download whichever ones you want we'll do green and red and then open up the folder now the only difference with uh, skins because there are, of course are already skins for the snout uh, in Sour Brand, they're not just invisible models. Uh, we're actually going to need to be replacing those. So you could just drag this packages folder into your Sour folder, merge, and replace, and you would be all set. It would just take one drag of a folder, and you'll be fine. I do recommend renaming um, your uh, original files with before you replace them, just in case you ever want to go back to them so let's go ahead open this up all the way in and we got our files here follow the same file path up top so packages uh, models snout x10k and we're going to look for these two files in our folder lower r dds uh, right here and then we're going to rename those okay so we don't replace them original if we can spell it doesn't matter um, and the upper R, upper R dot DDS, original, doesn't matter what you rename them to, and then you can go ahead and drag these right in, and it will not replace anything, and then we'll open up the game and see if we did this correctly, and then we'll close up this video.